Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Apologies for a couple of days absence, long story short, I've been quite ill. I'm better now though, I'm ready to get going once again. And in my absence, there were quite a bit of Newcastle United news, including a 5 0 win over in Dubai. Some very interesting goal scores, as well as some interesting facts in the game, which we'll discuss. As well as that, we've got a Kieran Trippier injury update, which came out about an hour after my video, so it wasn't the best timing. Better late than never, though. As well as that, though, we've got a huge announcement yesterday regarding Jonas. I mean, it's just crazy, so we're getting to that one. And before we get into things, guys, finally, I'm ready to use the 4K camera. It only took us about two months, but I've had this approved on the women's team, so I can actually take this down on Sunday and use this in the women's match, so... Fingers crossed it goes away because this is the first time I've ever properly used a camera. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We really do appreciate your support as always. The content will always come out and I'll always be at all the games. But yeah, uh, well, further ado, let's get into all the news. Let's begin off by talking about the women's team. So, if you haven't seen the announcement yesterday, they will be playing at St. James's Park in the final game of the season against Barnsley. That is a first in history for them. I'm extremely excited to see them play at St. James's Park. It's going to be an incredible experience for them. We've broken the attendance record this season. It was 2,700 at Kingston Park for their FA Cup game. I expect that record to be broken again. I don't know how many fans have turned up, but I believe it will be more than 2,700. It's a potential title deciding game as well, depending on what the Liverpool Fed score is. So this is a big deal, like a really big deal. I'm hoping a lot of people will turn up for it. I'm sure a lot of will. Uh, I've seen some people saying I wish the St. James Park is out. Listen, I wish it would as well, but it, it's not going to happen. We've got to be realistic. I think we could push and get 5,000, 6,000, in, which is double what their record attendance is. We just need to take it one step at a time and maybe one day we can get that for the attendance in. But yeah, that is huge. That is seriously huge. Tony, for example, here, yeah, this is their club physio. He's coming out and seeing it. It's an emotional day for me. It's going to be incredible seeing it. And yeah, it'll be the same for the rest of the staff, all the players, all the players' families. It's just one of them things that I live by for the rest of their lives. And that's exactly what these owners want to do. They care about this team. Amanda Stavey has already said in the like, interview that she wanted the women's team to play at St. James Park at some time. She spoke to the women's team earlier in the season. I imagine she would have told them then that I want these to play at St. James's Park. And to get that opportunity now to see those players there, it's, it's going to be incredible for them. And uh, yeah, uh, it means a lot to all the fans. And again, the owners... Even though it doesn't affect the first team, it's the fact that they are building on the foundations. Yeah, these people care. It's the best way of putting it. These people seriously care. And it's going to be huge to see what happens on the day. Across the globe, over in Dubai, Newcastle played a friendly match. It gives the players a chance to get themselves out there, score some goals and get some confidence. Hopefully, they come back from the break because, again, the Everton match, I've said it so many times now, but it wasn't good. We need to build on that and we need to improve. So yeah, we played against Gulf United, as I said. An interesting fact for you, Stephen Taylor is the manager of Gulf United. I mean, I don't know <laughs> what he's doing over in Dubai, but there he is, he's the manager of Gulf United. So, a uh, club legend, you could say, Stephen Taylor. However, though, he didn't know the club that well. And um, Newcastle came up with a 5-0 win in a 60-minute match again with the weather over there. They couldn't play a full 90. So pretty much, uh, this is over on the Chronicle, Lee Ryder's article here. Yeah, you can't legally watch the game anywhere. I can't show you the goals. The goals are not available anywhere on the internet. They had these problems over in Saudi Arabia. as well as some legal laws where you just can't show the friendly results for some reason. But whereas over in uh, Saudi Arabia, there were some fans in the attendance that got private invites to actually record the goals, which is why you could see those ones. But you can't see these goals anywhere. So anyway, as I said, we won 5 no. Dwight Gill, interestingly, scored two goals in the game, which is, I mean, are they the last goals he will ever score for Newcastle? We'll wait and see. But yeah, Eddie Howe spoke about him and said he's been quite professional and not getting any game time. He, speak, he spoke the same about Jamal Lasalle and certain our players that haven't got the game time. Long-serving players, which I believe will not play again next season. But we'll see if things change there. Adinson Max has scored two goals as well. That is ultra quite important. He's quite a divisive player at the minute and I think the fact that he's going to score two goals now will kick him on and whenever he returns, he'll either shut those fans up or he'll intensify things even more. So we'll see how things happen. Hopefully he comes back and shuts everyone up. I really hope he does because, listen, I want to see us win all the games. I don't want to see our players perform bad. And finally, Joe Linton. <clears throat> sorry, I mean, Joe Linton scored. So yeah, uh, those three won the score. Shoot, we won 5-0. No, nice and comfortable. I mean, I... Get the results in, that's the most important part. And it's good to see 
Dwight Gill scores two goals, that is actually quite interesting because I still think Dwight Gill will get five, ten minute cameos until Callum Wilson returns. But after that, what is his future? I personally think it won't be at Newcastle, but listen, I've seen weirder things happen. In my previous video, we talked about Callum Wilson and how he's set to return around about the Norwich game. So within those three massive games where Newcastle, you would think, should go and try and get 90 points in those games. I think all three are winnable, to be honest. But not a huge point to take into consideration is that Kieran Trippier is also expected to return at exactly the same time, if not slightly earlier. Which again, those two back were more or less confirmed to be staying up. I think we're safe anyway, to be honest. But with those two back, I mean, it just puts it on the coffin for the teams below us. As you can see here, yeah, he's on the treadmill. He's no longer got his his leg brace on. Again, he had a metatarsal break and he's, I think it was his big toe, if I remember correctly now. So the fact that he's on his feet now, he's recovering. It's just whether when I've had the bone heals really, which would be mostly fine now considering you walk on it. So yeah, I'm excited to see when he returns. He's the player, he's the key player. He's the biggest sign we made in that entire transfer window. Even though he hasn't played that much because his presence in the dressing room, he's someone that even when he was injured, he was going into the dressing room. He's a leader, he's a natural born leader, he'll be the future captain of his football club. He's key. He's exactly the kind of player you want that will be ambitious. He will drive us on to potentially win major honours, if not get us towards those stages. Kieran Trippier is the sort of player that would do that. He ain't going nowhere. That's all I'm saying. He ain't going nowhere. He's such a key player. And I'm excited to see next season and who we build on with. We've got to be getting these signings in though because we've still got injury-prone players. We need to get some more squad depth in there, some more meat on the bone. And to put alongside the likes of Kieran Trippier and Callum Wilson, if you get some extra bodies in to help them, then my word, we'll have a good team. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, enough daydream for now, though. We've still got to push on the end of the season. I think we are safe, though. I think with those who return, yeah, KO to the other teams. But anyway, though, Tottenham's next. I've thankfully got a ticket to that game, honestly. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, I've sorted it now, so don't worry. I'll be, we'll be at that game. We'll save all the Newcastle United news for now. I've got another video on upload tomorrow, so I don't want to talk about this stuff too much. However, though, I spent a couple minutes talking about myself just to wrap the video up. On Saturday, I will be at the Gateshead match. Uh, once again, Gateshead have invited me down to the game, so appreciate the uh, free admission. Uh, thank you so much. I will enjoy my time down there. I do really like watching Gateshead play. The only problem is, obviously, I, I spend so much money in Newcastle, I can't go there every week. I do need to keep my finances elsewhere. But I do really appreciate the invite again. I'm looking forward to recording the game. As you can see from their league table, Gator look like they're going to be going back to the fifth tier of English football, which is great because that, that's where they should be. They shouldn't be in the sixth tier. It's just a farce. They shouldn't be anywhere near that division. <clears throat> so to see them back promoted again is going to be great. As I said before, 4K camera will be used at the women's game on Sunday. Now, I know a bit of information that's quite important. The under 23s play at St James's Park on Monday night. Again, everyone loves the dates in James's Park. It's going to be great to get back down there. I missed that stadium. It's been so long since we played there. So, they take on West Brom. That is actually a not important game for them. A potential season-defining game. And Newcastle lose that game against West Brom. No playoffs for them this season. I think the playoffs will be out the window. However, though, they win that match. I think the playoffs have got a, a very good chance of happening. So, that is an extremely important game for Newcastle to win. So, make sure you get yourselves down there, guys. Support the team. As well as meeting me, have met me before. Obviously, I don't want to big myself up, but if you guys want to come over and say hello, get my vlog, feel free to do so. Obviously, I appreciate your support. And uh, I, uh, it's free admission for season ticket holders, so there's no excuse to get yourselves down there. But anyway, though, um, I'm going to wrap things off there. My throat's still not the best, so apologies if <laughs> my voice wasn't the best during the video, but uh, it's just how things are. I've always got to get the content out of there. That's my job. I can't change my mind now. But yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Take care. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, <coughs> I'll see you on the next one.